In this coding exercise, we are asked to build a URL parser. Now, I already have implemented what is going to do most of the heavy lifting when it comes to this, which is this giant regular expression. So what a regular expression is, if you're not familiar with it, it is a tool that you can utilize that can implement pattern matching in your app. So for example, if you come down here, what it will do is it's going to look at strings like these and if it finds a URL then it will simply match it. So right here in string 2 it'll have this match and then here on string 3 it'll have this match here at the beginning. So we don't have to worry about doing something like finding out where that occurs. That's what the regular expression can do. What we need to build is a method that can take in a string. So it can take in any type of string. And when it finds a link, so when it finds one of anything that matches this pattern, then it will change it. So it's going to convert the string and this URL parser method is going to return something that could be used in an HTML page. So the examples here for example two and three show exactly what we're looking to do. It's supposed to take in just this regular string and in this case it found a link but instead of leaving the link alone it inserts this a tag. So an A tag in HTML is something that will make this clickable. So it inserts this and it's going to say, okay, I see that you have a link here and here, and we're going to add a, the A tag with the href and some other things around it. And then also it's going to render the link out again. So essentially what this is going to do, if you're looking at a website, is it will show the link just like it is right here. But the only difference is if you put this text and you put the string on a website by itself, this would not be clickable. But by inserting the HTML code, it's going to make it clickable. And I like this exercise because this is something that I have to do on a pretty regular basis. When it comes to using the Rails framework, there are many times where I need to build helper methods that can look at strings like this and it can parse them and dynamically generate HTML friendly code based on the content. So this is definitely something that you will use in a real life scenario. So how can we implement this? There are a few ways, but one of the ones that I think is going to work the very best is by leveraging the G sub method. Now I'm going to take string, which str, this is the argument that's being passed to the URL parser method. And from here, I can say string dot G sub. G sub is a method in Ruby that allows us to pass in a regular expression. And there are a number of different ways that you can implement G sub. One is where you have a very straightforward implementation where you want to take one string and then swap it out with something else. So say that you want to take out one type of word and have another word replace it then you could do something like this and then you know, have your other word right here and then it's going to replace it. But G sub is very powerful and it actually allows us to utilize Ruby's block syntax. So it can optionally take a block and here I'm going to pass a block variable of URL. And now inside of this, we can wrap our URL around with this A tag. So what I can do is come right here, use double quotes for the string, and say a href, and obviously make sure you spell it correctly, and inside of this put single quotes. You wouldn't want to do two or else then you're going to have a syntax error because you have two on the left hand side and we're going to have to have two to close it. And now we need to do some string interpolation. So I'm going to pass in the URL and you, we just have to have it match what we're seeing down there on the test. And we're going to close it off. And then because we want this to open up in another window, we're going to say target equals underscore blank. Close off the a tag, use some more string interpolation, say URL, close it off, 
and then close off the A tag and then add double quotation marks at the very end just to finish it off. So what exactly is this doing? This is taking a string and we're calling G sub on it. From there, it's going to look for a URL pattern. That is exactly what our regex is. If we were building this parser for something else, like a social security number or a phone number, then this is what we would pass in. It's just looking for a pattern inside of a string. Now, once it finds that, then it goes into this block mode and we have access to the URL. Now, the way this works is gsub looks at every location, every spot in a, URL, or in a string that has the pattern, in this case a URL, and then it allows us to do anything we want with it. And so inside of this block, we could put any content we want, anything that we need to surround it with, and then what it's going to do is go and pipe this back into the string. So it's going to replace each instance of the URL with everything that we have here. So I believe that everything here is working properly. I'm going to come here, copy this, and come down and let's test this out. So coming here, let's call URL parser, pass in the variable, which in this case is string2. And if I run this code, this should generate a URL friendly or HTML friendly set of code items. And it appears, yes, that it did. You can see right here, we have all of the same content, but now, as opposed to the line right above it, where it's just the link by itself, like plain text, now it takes in and replaces that with our A tag, which slides in the link in the correct spot, then it inserts target, and then places the link. So this is gonna be rendered perfectly. Now one other thing to note, because there are many different regular expressions out there, this one is so long because it actually does a lot of cool things. It's not the hardest thing to build a regular expression that takes in and matches various HTTP and HTTPS kind of URLs. But one of the problems that I've found through the years is that whenever you're parsing strings, especially strings that are in sentences or in different kind of content like that, like the string that we have right here. One thing that I've found with a lot of matchers is they'll work perfectly but they'll also include the period at the very end. And you'll think that that is part of the URL. And that's a problem because if you include that, this URL in a web page will no longer work. It'll break and it'll send a user to the wrong spot. So that is the reason why I have it here. I definitely recommend for you to bookmark this so that you can come back and reference the regular expression whenever you need. I have it included in the show notes as usual. So great job if you went through that. You now know how to utilize the G sub method in order to combine a regular expression and to be able to swap it out and decorate it with any kinds of additional values that you need. So great job.